Hey guys, welcome to the day in the life of a mechanical engineer. All right, so I start with my fitness routine from five till six. Now, fitness has been a big part of my life ever since grade nine, actually. And I started with weight training and it helps me maintain energy and also improve my mood. And in the summer months, I recently picked up a working um, with calisthenics outdoors and it really helps me get outside more. And also as well, in the summer months, I recently picked up some running. Now there's a good friend of mine that actually plugged me with this and I must say it has been really good for my skin and as well uh, for my weight management. I found that now I tend to bulk easier and lose weight uh, slower. And the guy that I'm talking about is Lumi Sani. Please check out his Instagram page where he'll be posting more running content. Now coming back to the apartment, I usually like to do some light cleaning so that I don't come back to a nasty flats after work. Have myself a cup of coffee. Recently, I've been liking some green tea as I'm trying to reduce um, bloating and the like. Then of course, it's the commute to the office. So this takes me about 20 to 30 minutes. I chose to stay quite close um, to the office to eliminate um, long travel hours because couple that with the work stress, it could really be dragging. Now on this particular day, I was working at a contractor's office. So we were helping with developing drawings and um, pipe fittings. And as you can see, we're doing inspections. Um, so I recently started working with pumps and water equipment. Now I've blurred out what's on the screen, of course, because um, I would like to protect my private information at work. And then because of the nature of our work, sometimes you're required to be working at um, client sites. So I was in one of the sites, remote location, beautiful nature around, um, intense work. But I must say, as a young engineer, you must try to get more site work as that allows you uh, to gain more knowledge. Now back in North Jersey, uh, I was working at a Starbucks here. So this is the tail end of the year. And I'm fortunate enough that our work allows for remote working. So I took advantage of this one day um, as I was feeling down and then took myself to Starbucks to just sort out some communications in between uh, different departments. And then I also took some time to review some drawings. So what you'll effectively do as a mechanical engineer, you'll review a lot of those. And then currently at the moment, I'm busy with my postgrad um, in engineering management, so I do some meetings. Now, there's a concept by Carl Newport about seasonality, and summer is a season where I network more, so this is us going to electro mining, some good games to play, networking, meeting with potential suppliers, or just learning about what's trending in the industry. And that doesn't mean we shouldn't have fun. This is me trying out the punching bag machine. And I must say, I really need to work on um, my right hook. Good power, but not too much uh, with direction. But going back to the point, um, I would like to network more in the summer months, meet competitors, meet suppliers, uh, vendors, and then also other people in the field to learn what's going on, uh, what are the latest trends, um, what are some of the things to look out for in the industry. It is all good and well to be working and put your head down, but sometimes you just need to pop out a bit, a reference to Kendrick, and actually start learning what's going outside of your field. While this is a day in a life, I would like to close this with a message. At the end of the day, you can specialize as a mechanical engineer or chemical engineer, whichever one you choose. I often say that specialization is good for work and it's good for developing skills. However, as a person, you are multifaceted. You have different personalities of your own and you have different interests. Uh, in order to keep performing at the highest level that you feel, I'd say take more interests. I'd say build furniture with friends, record a friend's uh, parents' um, wedding. Do all these things that fill up your life and make your life full of joy because having doing, uh, been blessed with doing my career, which I love, I also understand that we need recovery and we also need some time alone. And I also would encourage you to spend more time with your family. As you can see, 
We are struggling here with 30 seconds, but it's a good time. <laughs> as you can see it's rough got 30 seconds but anyways guys please like and subscribe and let me just go and start another day push start